Welcome back to a new video. We're out here. What are we doing today? It's another Monday. Making these Monday Madness videos and showing you how to do t-shirts and graphics and stuff is super fun, but right now I feel like I'm repeating myself and it's repetitive and I need to broaden my horizon because we've been stuck at the house for such a long time trying to find new ways to invent making these videos. So today we're gonna be bringing back old favorite from a long time ago when I used to do screen printing and we're gonna do a skateboard t-shirt and it's gonna be a skate and destroy. But instead of like doing a thrasher version of skate and destroy, we're still gonna be using the same font. And instead of saying just skate and destroy, we're gonna put skate and destroy Tacoma. Hold up, wait up, before we start anything, I wanna get into the shirt that I'm using. I figured out the exact brand and the exact model and the exact same shirt that Thrasher prints on. So if you're wondering what it is, because it is a tear away tag out of their shirts, and if you ever noticed in the Thrasher skateboarding shirts or any like shirts in general, they print their own label. We're not there yet. I could print my own label, but I don't have a hat press, and the hat press is the best way to print labels because I could print labels on my heat press. I've done it, but it just doesn't work out the correct way. So they use an all style baseball shirt. It really is a baseball shirt. That's what it's called. It's an all-style baseball shirt. Um, it's an all-style classic. That's what it says in here in the tag. So it's all styles apparel and activewear classic. Um, this is a medium because that's the size my kid wears. And at this point, I'm going to put on the website Skate and Destroy, but I'm going to put where I'm from is Tacoma. So if you need anything like Skate and Destroy, wherever, what city, what state you live in, we can change the word up at the bottom. So wherever you live, you can have it say Skate and Destroy, or if you ride BMX because, you know, you help your whoever, your son, daughter, progress in what they like, and he gravitated towards riding BMX. So. If you want one that says ride and destroy and what city you're from, we can put whatever city you're from down below it. It's 100% cotton. So what that means is you should not dry it in the dryer at all. No way Jose, no dryer involved because that will shrink your shirt. And it's happened to me. Fits perfect, extra large, perfect, looks good. You wash it, you dry it one time and it feels like a medium. You don't want smediums unless you want a smedium. Instead of using vinyl sheets like I normally do, I bought a vinyl roll. And the reason why I bought vinyl rolls is because at this time, it's November, so it's almost close to Christmas, I make a lot of Seahawks stuff. We got the blue and we got the green that they use. And I decided, hey, what's another primary colors that I want to use because I am offering now down below on the website if you click click on it this is going to be a random shirt color but you can click on whatever color of shirt you want with whatever design you want on it but it has to be one color so it could be a black design it could be whatever i was saying in the instagram post and it's on the facebook feed if you want to go check that out you can check it out and i said whatever you want design it could be one color so i got the two basic colors black and white and that's works out just fine. All right, so we cut it on the cutter and we cut it out. Design looks great. It's almost the same, but not the same because my ledgers are a little bit bigger. Remember, you always do a test cut and then we cut it out so I'm gonna see what this is like when you do it and hmm. people always make mistakes and it's not a big deal I might have to recut this out because I forgot that the, I told you that this was a cold peel and the difference between cold peel and hot peel I believe I have to do a double cut on my machine. Let's see if this actually cuts out the right way or not. Nope, 
you see I have to double cut it. It's thicker and I noticed that because when you do a cold peel, for some reason the vinyl is thicker. So I'll have to recut this, it's not a big deal. We're in a learning process and I haven't used cold peel in a long time. Because the reason why I use cold peel sometimes is because it feels exactly like screen printing. Today is the next day. Yesterday or the other day, when did I start filming this video? Friday, Thursday, whatever day. Thursday, I started filming this video on Thursday because I try to do these things in a week in advance and I had a major breakdown. So my machine for some reason was malfunctioning and I had to figure out what was going on with it. I had to delete my whole program off my computer and then re-download it. I had to buy new vinyl because I basically went through a whole tire 20 foot roll of vinyl and it because my for some reason my rollers I don't know if it's my machine or something something to do with the cold weather out here in my garage but it seems like sometimes my rollers don't work that well in a panic rage of anger I overnighted some vinyl this vinyl for some reason is really thick real thick so we're gonna put this in here and actually get going on what we accomplished to do. So if you watch this and you make t-shirts as well, or if you're just watching this as a tutorial for your learning because you're thinking about making t-shirts, and if you have made t-shirts or you do make t-shirts and you use a vinyl cutter like this, I need to know. So if you, when I use a roller, if you do this the same way, there's a way to do it, but I forget to do it where it spits it out, out here and you cut it this way. But what I was doing yesterday was this is on a stool. This roller, this roll is on a stool. So I was just cutting it like this with scissors. And it doesn't matter if it's straight or not because I have a, a paper cutter and I go over there and just cut that because that's not straight at all. But then I cut this line and make this line evenly straight. And then I just hit continue and I unload it and see how much I have to let go through it's okay because I could use this piece again. You see how much I have to roll through the cutter to make sure that this part, when it's cutting, it doesn't roll underneath there and get stuck because that's what it was doing yesterday too. Even though on some of them, I was going like this with it and making sure that it was all straightened out, it would still roll back on itself and get stuck. If that's happened to you, what is your solution and if I'm doing something not right and if I'm putting this in the rollers and what is your solution of not making it so it goes back on itself. After you weeded it out, it looks pretty sick. Like, that looks dope. It's gonna look like the actual shirt that you get from Thrasher. And I always center up the tag with that line that's behind on the center line on that's on the back of my machine because that's when I know that it's center because I took a ruler Right, what did I take? A ruler or a tape measure? I don't know. My grandpa helped me. And he held it back there and we figured out what was center and we lined it up. And then you want to walk back. I've said this plenty of times. I want to walk back. And I know this is crooked just a little bit and I want to show you how it's shifted just a little bit this way. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but it shifted just a little bit this way. And I'm just going to tweak it so it's straight like this. Bam. We got this down. If you want to get it, because this has a sticky backing on it, you don't have to put heat transfer tape, but if you're new and you want to make sure that even though this is down on the shirt because it has a sticky backing, you can put, you know, heat transfer tape just to make sure that your measurements are all there and it's all straight. And then you take your Teflon sheet and wait 45 seconds to cold peel it off. how good this turned out bro it feels like screen printed on there it's not it's cold to the touch and then you just want to peel it off just like regular you know hot peel vinyl but this is a cold peel vinyl and it gives it that bro it gives it that screen printed feel I'm not making this up i'm telling you right now you if i told somebody yeah, i screen printed this yeah we do screen printing 
and I use cold peel vinyl every single time because you can layer this vinyl too. I believe you could layer this vinyl. I would have to look into that, but I know that you could layer that hip. This is what I would do if I was going to layer this vinyl on two color, three color, four color graphic. I would do the hot, the, the hot peel vinyl as the base color and the cold peel vinyl as the top color or the top whatever you're doing the top graphic or whatever it is it gives it that i don't know bro you couldn't if i told somebody yeah i print shirts but they didn't know that i use heat transfer vinyl and i use this cold peel stuff like i just said you wouldn't even know Ah, sneezy. Ah.